Talk about the two new services that have just... Well, they haven't quite come out. Uh, PlayStation Now is coming out with a beta. Uh, well, it just came out with the beta July 31st, and it's going to be released full uh, sometime by the holiday season. And... EA Access, which will be on the Xbox, because apparently Sony said it wasn't a good value, so they declined to have it. I think they were really just being jealous that somebody else was doing the same thing, but beside the point. Um, so we're going to have two competing streaming services pretty soon. And now both of them aren't streaming. EA Access, you actually download uh, the game. But I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. So PlayStation Now, that is the streaming service. They launched their beta on July 31st, and when the beta came out, it had a, tight, a, a catalog of about 100 games. Now, what you can do with these games is you can A, rent them for 40, for four hours, five days, what is it, Seven. Day, I'm sorry, four hours, seven days, 30 days, and 90 days. And you can only rent them. They do not say you can buy them. And when you rent them, you have automatic streaming. Think of it like Netflix instant streaming, but with your video games. And, um, and not only that, but those four hours, those five days, are, I believe, actual playtime, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Didn't say that. On that Why list. don't you know about these things? Why do you ask questions that nobody knows answers to? No, yeah, I could be wrong. I could be wrong too because well, I can't prove that you're days wrong. worth of uh, worth of streaming. Play that's time, a couple that's hours. A lot of playtime. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So the rentals will start ranging from two ninety nine for a four hour rental, all the way up to fifty dollars for a ninety day rental. Um, now, a lot of the times I saw it actually, if you paid a dollar more, you had the five day rental. So why would anybody pay for four hours? It just you know, Makes no sense. Uh, a lot of games were pretty garbage too. I mean, the best games I saw were Saints Row 2 and 3. Uh, you had a bunch of the Re Resident Evils, some of the Metal Gears. You had a couple Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Dead Rising series was on there, and Dark Riders was on there. But out of a hundred games, most of them were like Back to the Future or Sam and Max. So not the greatest. Well, catalog. it's it's early. They're just testing the waters right now, so you're not going to have the best catalog. Just like uh, Amazon Prime, when they started their um, their video streaming service, it it was a pretty small selection. You know, there was a handful of good ones. Mm, it's okay. so we started. But then EA Access, which will not be available on the PlayStation because Sony again they said it was not a good value. They weren't going to offer it. I'm pretty sure they were jealous. Um, so it'll be an Xbox One exclusive. And the way this one goes is you pay five dollars a month or thirty dollars a year, and then you can download certain games from their catalog. Not any of their new games, mind you, but some of their games, and play them unlimitedly as long as you are still subscribed to the service. Hmm. Um, and so I'm so, surprised e with the EA's uh, known reputation of trying to grab for money as much as possible, which is why they're doing this at all. But um, I'm surprised they're they're putting it at that price point. Honestly, EA, I I'm surprised they're going with thirty dollars a year. That's not a bad. It's price not bad at all, right? I mean, but now the games that you'll be playing will be the old games. Like, EA is known for a lot of their sports games. The, for, the first four games that will be available will be FIFA 14, so the year behind Madden 25, the year behind Peggle 2. I don't really know about that game. All right, now this is suddenly not a good value because all those games, you know, sports games, year out, drop to $5 at best. Mm -hmm. At best. And then <laughs> Battlefield 4 will be the last one, and they're just about to release another Battlefield. So... Yeah, I mean they they say they're gonna have a lot more games and their catalog's gonna lot get a lot. If bigger. it's gonna be their sports and their their if it's gonna be their churn out games that they do yearly, that reduce in value the next year to almost nothing, then now it doesn't now it's meaningless. Yeah. So <laughs> they can have as big catalogs they want. It doesn't yeah. matter. Um, and uh, now you do download it, you don't stream it. So that's one thing I kind of like that because. You never know with internet connection. What if my internet's a little bit sluggish one day? Then I can't play a game on PlayStation now. So yeah, like and not everyone option. has not not everyone has great you know blazing fast internet still even in the U.S. or in lots of parts of the world. So yeah, and and um so that'll be cool. Now I mean neither one of these services really sound worth it to me. Like if I didn't have one of those systems, which I don't, I'm not like gonna choose which system to buy because of these services. Because uh, the games on PlayStation Now just sucked. I was looking forward to a big catalog of PlayStation 1 games and everything like that that you could buy and stream for free. You know, I, I don't like the whole rental thing because what if I'm in the middle of a game and 
my five day rental ends, and then what am I going to do? Spend another double that to get another five days? I don't know if it's worth hey, it. Hey, like you used to do when you used to rent games from the from Blockbuster? Yeah, but that was a different thing because that was different. Actually, no, wow. that's the exact same thing. You're right. Exact <laughs> we same used to do thing. that without a memory card. Like, come on now. Yeah. Remember yeah, that with a yeah, PlayStation? Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah w- the original PlayStation days. There was a Breath of Fire three, I think it was. We rented that game like twice. Didn't have a memory card, so every time we turned off the system, we would have to beat it over. But we would sit there and play for like four hours, and then be like, okay, time for bed, turn it off. We did that with uh, we did that with Tekken three as well. Oh yes, we did. And we got all the characters at one point until the cat stepped on the power and <laughs> on had the... to turn it off. Yeah. So, yeah. So glad we don't have to have those pesky memory card days. But I mean, this is really taking the the console race to a new a new frontier, I'd say, uh, because PlayStation has been outselling Microsoft, and, like, they just released a recent earnings report where they, like, doubled their earnings from last year. Um, so they've been doing really strong, but is this service really... I mean, PlayStation now sounds cool, but it just doesn't seem like it's shaping up to be what we want it to. Um, I, I think we're going to have to wait and see, because it's still in beta. They're not going to release all the big catalog yet. They're just testing the waters, probably just testing the servers, really, at this point, uh, see how much they can handle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they they also need to show interest to get the other publishers to sign on because a lot of the rights don't belong to Sony, yeah. you know they belong to other people. Um, but either either way, like with between EA and PlayStation now, honestly the the better deal seems to me like you know what you're, you're getting the best of all worlds is it's still um, the uh, the your uh, what is it PlayStation Plus. Yeah, but Where PlayStation you just get... Plus is part of PlayStation now. Yeah, but just get a straight PlayStation Plus account or whatever. That's that's the best deal. That's the best part of the deal, though, is having PlayStation Plus because you already get the what six games free that you download. Yeah. So that I mean, so it sounds like they're releasing a service that they're already beating themselves. So you know that doesn't make much sense. And, you know, maybe it's it's really sounding like. Um, you know Amazon's strategy, like I said before, with uh, we or like I mentioned before a little bit, um, Amazon's strategy of, hey, let's pack stuff into Amazon Prime. You know, you are already getting Amazon Prime for certain purposes, which help them. You're getting Amazon Prime to buy stuff from Amazon, right, and just get free shipping on it. And then they add on, hey, we got streaming videos now. Yeah, but who's going to pay $50 for a rental for 90 days for a game that you could probably go to the store and buy for $30 and keep Yeah, people have been making life. fun of them for that for a long time, but no one should, but they're hopefully... Yeah, they're... Everybody should. That's that's a horrible business model. If you're going to pay $50 for a game, no, let them no have one their should life. No buy that, that. Oh, yeah, no one should no buy one that. Should, if you buy uh... that, you're a dummy. I'm sorry. I don't like to call people dummies, but you're a dummy if you buy one of those for $50. I mean, I could see the four-hour rental because that's like an extended demo being val- val- viable, but other than that, I really don't see it. And then the EA Access offers you no game, so, yeah, I think you're right. I'm going to agree with you on that point. It's a wait and see. Both cool ideas, but not quite developed yet. Yeah. So. But you know what? Let us know what you guys think. Uh, of course, hit us up in comments down below at What's My Face on Twitter, What's My Face at gmail.com. Uh, we're on the Google Plus and the Facebook thingamajiggers, so uh, you can hit us up there. And-